So welcome back to JME CK exam series questions. Uh, thanks for all your support and uh, comments. And uh, mostly I have, I'm responding for the comments whenever I got a chance. So don't take it as a negative way. Okay. So one of one of the important and very easy and uh, quick question. Uh, this you can uh, achieve within a minute or two in your exam. You can save the time in your exam for other questions right so the question says there are two deployments in two different namespaces called front end and back end and the main ask is they both need to communicate right so I need to analyze both front end and back end deployments and understand the communication requirement and then we need to apply the network policies already available the manifest files or uh, network policy ml files already available in the netpol directory so we need to choose which one is appropriate policy that will allow communication between front end and back end right so we need to make sure we are giving a, a least permissive restrictive as as uh, as much as possible that policy only we need to apply here okay we need to apply out of three we need to apply which are is suitable for our requirement okay don't delete or change any of the existing dna all net policy okay existing network policy already there that you don't need to modify or do any changes to that okay so if you are doing uh, any modification to that the results uh, i mean the that results uh, reducing the score okay so be cautious on the do's and don'ts in the exam uh, in the question right accordingly you need to act okay. verify the namespaces are exist or not in this is my test environment it won't exist so i need to create uh, two namespaces and then uh, we will move on okay so what we need is front end as well as back end namespace right okay so in again you don't need to create this in your exam environment okay everything will be set for you okay so now i have created uh, namespaces now i need to add the deployment as i don't have any deployment in my um in my namespace right this is the test cluster okay let me create the deployment for this again you don't want to worry about the deployment right in generally if you want to create the deployment you go to the and search for the deployment and you will be able to get it right so that's how we do in all the okay so again this deployment and the labels and the any container which or is lightweight container i just use right okay just save it and we will do the front end the deployment as well uh, we'll create the manifest and then we will create um, both the deployments and then we will start investigating the network policies part okay so this is the another deployment which i'm deploying into the front end namespace with the labels and the, the container right nothing nothing else it's a sample deployment only okay so once we are the deployment i think we need to have service also okay first what we will do we will create these two deployments and then i will create uh, the services for them right okay both the deployments created now i need to create backend svc okay i'm creating a service for backend and i have used the labels of a backend deployment and the port details it's a simple service i'm using and similarly we use um, front end right 
our namespace with the front end deployment selector labels right that's it we'll save it and we will apply uh, both the services back end services and similarly front end svc as well okay now we have created the deployment and the services for both the front end and the back end namespaces right now next what is uh let me create the policies and then we will verify them and then we will apply and we will test it all right okay i have uh, set up the okay i have created the network policies just to replicate our environment exam kind of environment now first what we need to do we need to apply a rule called dna all so yes dna all ingress and all egress are created right so now now we need to review the network policies available in the network policy directory so as in the question right it says uh, there are three network policies right um so out of those uh, policies we need to review and we need to apply which one is suitable for us uh for the exam environment right so let's go one by one of people one okay so this is allow from net this is a kind of network policy and uh, allow all from front end to back end uh back end ingress and name front end right okay front end to back end it is allowing okay next we will review the second policy second policy this is uh, again allowing front end to back end uh with the pod selector right spec you can see pod selector only with the label back end this is the only policy of ingress ingress again from the namespace front end and the pod selector is the front end uh, allowing any traffic coming from the label and the pod selector a front end then only allow the traffic that's what this network policy talks about so this is like uh, suitable for us but let's review the other one okay give me a sec let me okay this is just simply an empty ingress rule so there's nothing here okay so you can see the first one again and see the uh, again this is up this is applying at the back end ingress and this is <clears throat> allowed for complete namespace it's not limited uh, to the pod labels right that's what we see in the network policy too you can see the pod selector if the any, any topic is coming from the front end namespace and it is having the label of a front end right then only the incoming ingress traffic will be allowed. okay so uh, this policy right in this policy only allows pods with the label f front end in the front end namespace to access the backend pods this is the least permissive correct solution okay so now what we will do we'll save it and before we do let's apply fnf netball 2 this is the correct solution where it will allow the ingress from front end to back end all right so let us make the cubes will get pods fnn fna will do okay there are pods in front end and back end let me exec and then i'm hitting the back end service and um, i'm not doing anything so let me use for both okay so that i can see them detailed 
it's okay it's unable to resolve the host maybe this is something with the uh, policy right so okay kubectl get netball fnn front end okay and the same way i will do um back end right back end okay so here i have applied one that allows front end to back end but here both i have denial egress and denial ingress right so what i need to do is i need to allow the egress in the front end namespace egress to the egress okay so we are we are allowing uh, the egress to the back end port service now we will apply it again egress front end now get the netballs get netball iphone and front end okay uh, i think it's it's got updated uh configured so now we will do the cube serial exec again and we'll do the call yesterday's welcome to nginx this is what we are expecting right now what we are achieved is we are able to connect from front end to the back end namespace right that is what uh, in the question also it is mentioned now we'll just verify the back end policy so we'll exit from the port now describe the network policy okay you can see right this is the port software that's why we are able to communicate from the front end to the back end so let's go back to the question so allow communication between front end and back end that's what uh, the question requirement so in your exam please concentrate on the netpol directory in the in your exam no need to do any any other things uh, creating the namespace creating the deployment service nothing just navigate to the netpol directory and view the policies over there right just list the policies and view the policies and the mostly in our exam also right for ck2025 blindly we apply netpol 2.ml whatever the second policy which allowing the part label right that selector please check for that apply immediately and do your other work no need to verify also in the question it's not asked you to verify also right that's it this is a very simple question and you can crack it within a minute or two if you are more aggressive right just look for this question and uh, go to the directory or copy the file and just give CTL apply for that done and dusted for that question that's it for this question thanks for your time and uh, mainly for those who are commenting and uh, they are asking more questions i'll try to do my best and also ckd also i am going to um, start soon but not right now thanks for your time and if you are not subscribed to my uh, my channel please do that will encourage and uh, that's it